friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and I'm just on my way out the door. Uh, I got you a chair. You got me a chair? Perfect. 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 It's 4.30. The kids just had supper. Uh, we used leftovers because um, my husband made bologna and bacon, and Mally made pancakes and everything for lunch. Oh, be careful. And we're just using leftovers. Last night my husband made honey garlic pork. I made the rice, so we're using leftovers today. But it's a nice sunny day today. Ah, spider! Misha and Maze are up there on the four-wheeler. I got a chair. A spider, how oh, they're nice. And I'm just going to sit outside in the sun for a little bit. I do got my jacket on because it's a little chilly. A little bit, but yeah. This way I can watch everybody have their fun. And yeah, it'll be a good time. Just around the yard. They're just going around the yard. <laughs> ah, fun times, fun times. Up and around the house. It's funny because that chair. There he so is. Not... Alright, they're coming up around the house. <laughs> I see ya. Mally ran in the house to ask Mazaya again if she wants to come out. She's not a fan of bugs. She really doesn't like bugs. I said, well, you can go ask her again. We can see if she wants to go for a ride, but we'll see. Maybe she will. Maybe she will. But, yeah, she is not a bug person at all. Even ladybugs. She, little fluffy things. She No, she can't handle. Can't handle. But <laughs> Misha and Maze, the faster they go, the more they like it. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Whereas Mally and Mazaya, not so much. Not so much, but it'll still be fun for them. I see ya! <laughs> Mally's turn. <laughs> Mazaya's next. Mally and Mazaya can't squeeze on the back like these two littles did. <laughs> Do you want to go on a four wheeler ride? Yeah, you need to get my sneakers. Yeah. I will. I will. Do you know where I am? No, up in your. Closet in your dresser. Yeah. Oh. There, Mally's done. <laughs> Climb up there, Zai. You want to go for a ride? Can I get a new lap, Mace? No, you can't get on my lap, Mace. No, Misha, this is Zai's turn. Hold on! Hold on! Her hood flew back. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how much she thinks. She's not one for big rides or anything, is she? She doesn't seem to <laughs> No, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't like going on Ferris wheels or even teeter-totters for the most part. She doesn't like stuff like that. So I'm the surprised. The I know that she likes is the flume ride. Well, she'll go on it sometimes, but that's a pretty big ride. Yeah, I want Yeah. But that's okay. She's oh, getting some fresh air. Where's Maze? You guys are tailing after him. Oh, there he is. Be careful. So Still in his jammy pants. <laughs> Ooh, you're huffing and puffing. All right, I think she's done. How was that? There's a smile. You didn't have a smile on earlier. <laughs> Very fast. Oh, Dad needs a break. <laughs> Did you like that? A lot. Yeah, oh good. <laughs> she was amused. Alright, the kids have gone off to play. They're collecting rocks they're going to paint later. If not today, another day. But my husband's going to barbecue chicken, even though everybody's had supper. We had two big packs of chicken in here. So we might as well barbecue it up. They can have it tomorrow or later today if they want. But they're down here playing. <clears throat> what? Yes, you are. Are you? Well, don't leave those branches laying around on the yard when you're done with them. Go put them down by the fire. I found a dead bear. You found a dead. Oh yeah, a little, littlest pet shop bear. Yeah. Dead bear. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, Misha and Maze. That, that isn't our property. It's, it's our, our yard. Misha, Mally, shush. Uh, Flora and Larry down there, but that's one of the apple trees. They have like crab apple yeah, trees. Yeah, yeah. But they push this little ramp up. Usually in the summer, this is all grown up. You can't even get back there. But they'll climb up there sometimes. I'm just wondering. But we got to clear out. Well, it's not the time of year. You can see some old apples are still sitting there all squished up, rolled up. Are but, they, are they going to be growing in summer? Yeah, near the end of summer and stuff. They'll be, you know, September. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Last time there was bugs yeah, well, they're, they're natural apples. They're not tended me. apples. I they're still good. to pick any cherry that is ripe off of that tree. Yeah, that's not for a little while yet. A few Ginger more months. Tree. There's a cherry tree. There's a cherry tree. There's a cherry tree, the a cherry tree down tree. there. One of the best cherry trees is the baby cherry tree. Where's that? that? Um, oh, up front. Yes. His name's Jeffrey. His name's Jeffrey. Yeah. But, like, it does get the better ones, but the, this one also gets the better ones. It does, so yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I know you don't. I'm just sitting there chilling, but Mally brought out some sidewalk chalk for these guys to decorate the stones for us. I said that's fine as long as you put it back in the box after so it doesn't dissolve in the rain. Okay, I don't have any favorites. I literally just started opening it, Misha. Okay, you guys, you don't need to start fighting. She doesn't need to grab it out of my hand. No, she doesn't need to grab it out of your hand. So, there. Oh, Misha, you're doing a flower. That looks beautiful. That's awesome. I just need to check this chicken because I know what I'm doing. Actually, I don't. My husband's the barbecuer. It looks good to me. What, honey? Mally went in the house. She's up in her room there. Oh, you wrote your name on the house. Good job. Everybody knows it's your house then. No. Oh, are you drawing a girl's eye? Yeah. Yeah, you show me when you're all done. I know it's hard to do with those big fat uh, yeah, chalk things. That's they're not. What I mean. They need to be like smaller. Like, yeah. They should be more like a tram, but just a little sharp. Yeah. That's so hard to see. They, I know. I know. Oh, just a sec. Oh, Zaya's done. She has a pretty girl here. She has like cat ears. Is it cat ears? Or? I don't know. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like cat Yeah. That's awesome. I'm better at drawing on paper. Yeah. Misha wrote her name. I'm over drawing on, the, on wood now. You are a very good She's artist, Zaya. On the side. On the side. Okay. Yeah. I see that. Maze did this. He wrote his name. And that's a picture of him, so I know who it is. Again, there's Misha's flower. We're really decking this joint out, aren't we, Maze? Oh, five stars. I don't know, but I just I'm doing a video, Zai. Zai is my sidekick. They were saying my husband's pushing Misha and Maze in a wheelbarrow up the hill to get a load of dirt. I don't know where the heck he's going. I thought he was getting it at the end of the driveway, but Marquis he's outside going skateboarding. He said they're going down the road. I don't know. I want to see where the heck they're going. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really windy. Well, kind of windy. I'm just thinking the microphone and stuff. We've got to look for cars. No cars. If told us to look down and up, then look to the side again. Yeah. I'm still wondering, why look down? There's not going to be any cars. Well... Maybe there's a raccoon. You don't want to step on that. Or a por porcupine. You don't want to step on that. Wait. Those are in the roads at their place? Where it's well, sometimes. You never know. Yeah. Sometimes you see them, unfortunately, hit you by a car in the road. The yeah, you got to watch out for turtles in the spring. Yeah. Stop and let them cross or stop and pick them up and bring them across. Oh, there they are. No, not a pickaxe, just a, a good garden shovel. They're getting some dirt that's on the side here, probably where the plow brought over the winter. You did. 
There's our house over there. They're getting some stuff. Is this from the plow, do you think? Yeah. There we go. Well, Misha will carry it. Or... Maze, you want Misha to carry the shovel? Oh. We'll do a ride, walk back. What? Oh, Misha's having a snip fit. There's my son over there skateboarding. Oh, the joys of life, right? The joys of life. There. There's Maze getting his shovel full. I'll go throw it in the wheelbarrow. Good job, Maze. He's going down the hill on his skateboard. Because I went in and got her jams on because yeah, she was cold. Natalie, Misha, did you hear what I said? Ah, there he goes again. He doesn't want me to get him coming all the way down the hill, but he does. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Alright, he did it a few times. Now I convinced him that I could get him. He can go all the way from the top of that hill, but it scares the bejesus out of me. It does. I said, just go where I can see ya. Oh gosh, here he comes. There's that graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I might try it with a snowboard, but not a skateboard. <laughs> At least the snow I could land a little safer than on a paved road. <laughs> All right, friends, there's the chicken. Looks good, looks good. Maze has a piece. My husband had a couple pieces. My teenager had a piece. This is what's left over. I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge when it finally cools down. And we'll have that for lunch tomorrow with a macaroni salad and some cucumber or something like that. Perfect. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next day. It is Monday morning. I'm just brewing my coffee. It's 9.48 in the morning. I got up around 9 o'clock. And it's a beautiful day outside. Well, it is beautiful out. I think it goes up to the high of plus 8 low minus three today so yeah uh, I got up I had the dishwasher almost full I'm just waiting for uh, Mazai's having oatmeal now Maze is having oatmeal now Mally doesn't know what she wants for breakfast and neither does Misha so I'm getting my coffee that's what I'm gonna worry about so anyways I'm probably gonna squish yesterday and today together it was kind of a a weird day yesterday. Well, not weird, just I, you guys might have heard the shooting rampage that went on in, in Nova Scotia yesterday, or well, part of the last, the past two days, the, the guy was stopped yesterday, but yeah, I guess it's the biggest shooting incident in all of Canada. And I'm not exactly sure the specific numbers, but I seen one that was 17, 17 people were killed, one was 16 people were killed, one was 13 people was killed, so I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked today, but um, putting all of my prayers and try to positive energy for anybody that's directly affected by this. Just sad, just sad. Tragic, absolutely tragic, but yeah, anyways, so yesterday was a day of following that and feeling for those people and um, as us Canadians, we all feel it, we all feel it. And one of the people that passed was a police officer, an RCMP officer too. Another RCMP officer was shot and is in hospital, but yeah, the the woman police officer that passed, she was the mom of two kids and just was on the force for 23 years, you know. Oh, it was just everything, everything about the story is just heartbreaking. But anyways, that's not going to be forgotten. Those people that perished are not going to be forgotten. And yeah we will move forward but yeah they'll still be 
in our hearts for now on. I know. I know. So, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. <laughs> And we're going to get on with this day. I'll squish yesterday and today together. Because yesterday, I just filmed when we were outside and, and stuff. And today is Monday. Evie's coming over this morning. Um, he wasn't here all weekend. So it'll be good to see him. And yeah, we'll see what we can do. That chicken that my husband barbecued yesterday, we'll probably have that for lunch. And I'll just make one of those pasta salad box things to go with it and I have a cucumber to slice up that would be good then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for supper so I'll be back in a little while all right friends well we'll probably do that chicken oh there's something on the burner I just wiped my stove top off anyways I'm making KD craft dinner mac and cheese for lunch it's 11:57. I was busy with the boys reading books and playing and stuff so I'm gonna do up two boxes of this the kids can have craft dinner for lunch and we'll probably do the chicken and stuff for supper um so i'm gonna bring this to a boil add them in and we'll be good to go but i have some good news guys some good news i forgot to mention i am getting a new stove yes i am it'll be here on wednesday and i haven't had a brand spanking new stove since we lived in the old house and that's well i'm just thinking the last time we bought a let me turn you around yeah the last time we bought a new stove we lived in the house that Medea lives in and it was probably almost 15 years ago honestly and I had bought one of those flat top stoves and it worked good and stuff but after having that I like the coil top ones better I really do I find they work better for me they're both good but I like these ones better anyways um, yes, we're getting a brand spanking new stove. It's a Frigidaire one. It's going to be all white and it's going to be amazing. Going to be amazing. So, anyways, I'll be baking up a storm, cooking up a storm once I have something that I can work with and know that it's going to work properly instead of taking the door off. And in the glass in my oven door, I have a balled up piece of Mally's over there dancing, a balled up piece of tin foil because part of the glass was knocked out and yeah it's just a couple of the burners don't work and i'd use this until it completely died but if we have the opportunity to get a new stove we're getting it so that's exciting anyways i'll bring you back when we uh plate up this grub oh you do stink evie all right there's mallies evies mazes misha's and zaya's my teenager is over there he has his but i'm gonna put some ketchup on this and that's lunch all right there's a smiley face smiley face kind of <laughs> smiley face smiley face oh i forgot yours maze i gotta do yours and there's mazes now it just all gets mixed up in but that's the way they like it all right guys that's about quarter to three i just got back from the store and getting some more milk because Say hi, Maze. Oh, <laughs> he's digging for gold. But there's little man. There's my laundry monster. I'm just loading the dishwasher again, but I won't have enough to start it. I'm going to get this done today, hopefully. But my husband's upstairs doing meetings all stinking day long. He's working hard. So I can't go lay Evie down. And I can't do it in the kids' rooms because they're in and out and in and out. So he's asleep on the Chesterfield. He's good. And, yeah, I'm going to start working on supper probably around 4.30 because that chicken that my husband barbecued yesterday just needs to be reheated. Well, I might start around quarter after 4 because I'll just uh, make that pasta salad real quick and then slice up a cucumber. And Bob's your uncle. There it is. It's one of these kind of a lazy days, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Oh, and for those interested, I've been listening to an audiobook all day. I'm going to sit in one of these little kid chairs that my dad built. Hopefully I don't snap it. You guys will laugh your arses off because I would laugh too. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm listening to an audiobook. It's Mark's, Max Brooks, I think, The Recount of the Zombie Apocalypse. So that's what I am. It's good so far. There's still like eight hours left. I think it's like a 12-hour book. 
but it goes through different people reading the story and their recount their recounts of their take on the zombie apocalypse so i don't know if it goes to an actual story after but it's really it's really quite something i'm enjoying it so yeah it goes all over the world their take on individuals of the zombie apocalypse in the max brooks audiobook but yeah that's uh that's my day today so anyways i'll be back just filling you in all right friends i got one of my hu hubby's uh sweaters on way too big for me but it's nice and cuddly cozy i'm whipping up this it is quarter after four pasta salad I really should have had two boxes for the amount of people I gotta feed, but they can each get a little a little smidgen of this. Some leftover barbecue chicken from yesterday, and I have some cucumber to cut up. And that's what they're having. Trying to use up stuff I have instead of making new meals. But that's the way it goes. I cannot wait to get my new stove. I really can't. I was going along, just pedaling along, but my mother-in-law is the one that had told me about getting a new stove because <laughs> she watches my videos and she was like, oh, I can get you a new stove because she has like uh, connections with a uh, place that sells appliances and stuff. So we're still paying for it, but you know, she organized it and stuff and I'm just like, oh, I know, I'll just keep going. You know, like it's just more work for me to organize something like that, but it's all organized and I didn't have to do 90% of the work so we're getting it we're paying for it but it's it's awesome awesome so I can't wait so I'll be able to do big big meals like I did before and I'm excited about that because I really enjoyed doing that talking with you guys feeding my family all at the same time like how awesome is that so yeah anyways I just have some water here heating up I'll show you the cucumbers I have. The kids, I had to fight off the kids. They've been eating the rest of the cucumber. I have this bit of cucumber, this bit of cucumber, and this bit of cucumber. That's what I have left. I'm slicing it up, and they're using it tonight for supper because those sons of guns like their raw veggies, which isn't bad, but I need something to go along with supper tonight. I don't know where my cucumber slicer thing is, so I'm just going to use a knife. That's what I'm going to do. Now, my husband is still up in a meeting. Yeah, he's still up in a meeting. He works as hard as he did before, honestly. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta rinse these cucumbers off. So yeah, I'm getting through my book. Another thing I've been doing, I still never got around to Maze dehydrating those blueberries that I wanted him to dehydrate that I keep talking I used to keep talking about. But I'm thinking about dusting off my car boys. For those that don't know, I used to make beer and wine way before I started preserving food. My dad taught me how to make homemade beer. <laughs> and I branched off into wine. And uh, I did it for years. I have some, I, I know I shared those in my last video pictures. Let me just rinse these. I gotta rinse them. I'm sure they're okay, but I can't help but rinse them. Anyways. Blueberry wine. Oh, I dropped one. I've never made blueberry wine. And I'm thinking, I have two big bags of it. And you can use frozen veggies or um, fruit for wine. You can. I'm just going to slice this up so it's ready. Oh, I want my little thing. It just makes a little crinkle cut. It makes it so much better. To eat, but the kids must have got into it. Anyways, I've been looking up that. I need to do my wine making book that I bought 
at the convenience store here in town, Conway Quick Stop, which I call 7-Eleven. That's where I would buy my beer and wine making supplies. And I'm thinking I might try blueberry wine. My husband, I think the last time he went to Costco, he hasn't gone in a while, he bought a wine kit. Because now that that wine kits store came to town, you can go and get your wine kits made there. You don't need to go and add the yeast to it for legal reasons. And then you just go to bottle it up when it's time. I don't know if that's open or anything. I have a box, two wine kits in it, so it'd be red Chardonnay or whatever the heck it is out there. I'm not a big wine drinker. I used to be, <laughs> but I'm not anymore. But I wouldn't mind a glass of wine here and there. And if we have the wine kits, why not make them? I would do that. I have like, when I used to make wine, I do like six car carboys at a time. It's like my canning. I can't do small batch canning. I can't do small batch wine making. If it's one carboy, it's got to be six carboys or three carboys or four carboys. I can't do just one carboy. It doesn't seem right. Which a carboy is, well, there's different sizes. My carboys were five gallon carboys. So I had a lot of wine on at a time. There, this is bubbling, so. I've got to take the little seasoning pack out of it. Anyways, I'm thinking about doing that. It's almost like I'm bored. I'm not bored. I have a million things to do. But it's just tickling my fancy to try to <clears throat> re recarnate what I used to do. And I used to make beer and wine all the time. All the time. And not that I would do like a great big huge batch, but enough to have a stockpile. They're good for gifts. They're good for gatherings. Who knows? Who knows? It's not like I would drink wine every day. I certainly would not. But if it's a way of preserving it in a way that would be useful for us, whether it's personal stuff or bartering stuff, you just never know, right? This is on hot. I've got to stir it. It's going to overflow. Overflow. I think there's three or four chicken legs left, so I'm going to break it up in pieces because there's not enough for everybody to have a whole chicken leg and thigh. But they can have a scoop of this, some cucumber, and some chicken, and that's going to be their supper. And of course, there's a plethora of snacks. There's crackers. There's canned stuff. There's there's stuff. There's stuff to eat here. I don't have any bananas left. I don't have any apples left. So I'm making a list of things that I need to get when I go to town today. Or not today. This week. <laughs> and I was talking to Saritha. I know I told you. Oh, my baby finger's itchy. Um, I need to pick up some prescriptions for her. I need to stop to another place for her. I'll stop. Well, when I get her prescriptions, I'll get some groceries. And if Medea needs anything, I'll stop and get her stuff. Like, I'll, like, so there's not five people going to town. There's one person going to town. Just safety, safety first, right? But anyways, yeah, I need to find my gloves or I'm going to tear my hands apart. So I'll be right back. All right. I'm okay now, honestly. Uh, <laughs> you might not understand, but for those with severe eczema, which I have, I don't have it all over my body, but my hands are sensitive because I wash my hands all the time. And I, I'm not flared up in the sense like you can't see a whole lot of stuff. But if I know the triggers, I know just cutting up that cucumber. I'm not allergic to cucumber, but just doing that, that's why oftentimes I wear gloves when I prep food. I could tear my hands apart. And I don't because I know. So I got my gloves on. I'm not scratching them. I wash my hands with soap and water. I put some of that uh, antiviral pump stuff on, you know, anti whatever. And it stings like the Dickens. It does. It does. But it's, it's funny. For people with eczema, if any of you have it, you learn these little tips and tricks. I gotta see if this past is done. Oh, I'm sorry guys, my camera ran out of space, but I'm saying it's so hard for little people, little people, to find the things that they need. And Mace is so petite. He's so petite. Anyways, that's enough of that. 
I shut the burner off. I'm going to strain this and then I'm going to rinse it with cold water to cool it down, which I need to do because it's hot. It is hot. And then I'll put it back in the pot and mix it up. I also put cold water in the pot just because the pot's hot too. Do what you do. Do what you do. But yeah, I could have used two boxes of this stuff. I'll just let it drain a minute and I'll get the Miracle Whip or mayonnaise over the fridge, whatever I, the heck I have. Oh, some mustard, which, and I often add relish if I can freaking find it. Perfect. Some no-name yellow mustard. Some Hellman's olive oil, made with olive oil, not vegetable or canola oil. And some relish, sweet relish. I just mix that all up together. No specific measurements. You do you. But I'm telling you, I cannot wait to get my new stove. Just use a zhuzh of that. This always does not come out easy. A good glob of that. And some Miracle Whip, and you add the little seasoning mixes. Just so you can see. There, fancy, huh? And the little seasoning mix. And then you taste it for salt and pepper and let it cool, make sure it gets cooled down real good. Easy, 434, that's good. I'll just pop those chicken things in the microwave for, I don't know, four minutes, maybe two minutes and then flip them over two more minutes. And then I'll have some food gloves on and break them up in pieces. And yeah, that'll be it. That'll be the supper. And then if they want something else later, I'll get a little snack for them. I do have some carrot sticks in there. Or whatever. Popcorn. Whatever. Okay, perfect. Ta-da! Macaroni salad. Homemade macaroni salad's always better. I know it is, I know. But these come in handy, and they're tasty, even though they're artificial, but they're tasty. They are. So, anyways, let me get that chicken out, and I'll show you. All right, I just moved the saran wrap. There's three big chicken drum sticks that have the drumstick and thigh all attached to it, so cut that in half. There's six pieces of chicken, and <laughs> that's going to have to do. If not, I think there's four hot dogs left in the fridge I could whip up or they could whip up if they want to, but I'm just going to make it work. I'm trying to use stuff up because we have a lot of food, and that's not a bad thing. Like, I have canned stuff, like my home canned stuff, and I got pasta, and I have some sauce and things, but um, I want to use what we have in the fridge. There's no sense making more stuff when we have stuff in the fridge that we got to eat, so that's what I'm doing. That box of craft, well, not craft dinner, but macaroni macaroni salad was about two bucks. The cucumber was left over, and uh, the chicken. So use that up, and then we can start fresh tomorrow. Easy peasy. So, yeah, let me heat this up, and we'll get our hands in that. All right, friends, I heated up that chicken. Maybe I should have did this before. It is hot. I got my gloves on. Woo! So there. Six pieces of chicken right there. Now, 
My husband will have to get him something else to eat because there will not be enough for him. Well, there would be, but really, not really. I gotta get one of these gloves off because I gotta get a gotta get a fresh uh, thing. So maize. He loves this stuff. Now you could give him a turkey leg like that, and he'd eat the whole stick of thing right down to the bone. He would. Let me look up a little bit. You're seeing my messy counter. Well, the chicken's right there. You've seen it, so. Ah. Uh, him, he doesn't really like a whole lot of this macaroni salad. If he wants more after, he can have. But he does, he do like some cucumber. He do. So, not a great big supper. But believe me, he's been eating more than anybody else today. He really has. So, Zaya, she likes it all. She likes it all. her a couple of big scoops of that salad because she loves that. Mm, there, four or five pieces of cucumber. Heavy is still snoozing, so I'm going to leave him to last because, yeah, it's just not going to work. No sense getting it out now. I've had lots of little baby food he could eat and not like jar baby food, but I'm just saying. I got stuff I could give him. This can be Mally's. She just had a bunch of um, cucumbers, so I'll give her one of these thighs. Hers. So, Maze, Maziah, Mally. I gotta do Misha. Misha, Misha. I'll give her a drumstick. Did you guys grow up calling? The leg of the chicken, like the, you know. Did you call that drumsticks? That's what we called it. And Misha likes that salad. Yeah, she does. And she likes cucumber, so she's good. She's good. There's Misha's. So there's a couple of pieces here. Either whoever comes downstairs first, my teenager or my husband. If not, I can rig them up something else quick. But that's supper. 4.43. It's even early. But there's enough cucumber for those guys to share. Or I could do little plates for them and they can get something else after. That's probably what I'll do. Makes less, less work for me, right? So, anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, my duties are getting done. Getting done. <laughs> Well, I'm just, well, we had to go get another candle because uh, that one kept wax. blowing out. So this one has one of those little holders. So we're just going to wait for 8.30 a few more minutes and then we'll be quiet for two minutes. All right, guys, it just turned 8.30 and we talked about what went on. So we're going to have a moment, two minute moment of silence. All right, guys, well, it is 16 after 9. I'm going to get the kids ready for bed now. And, yeah, I squished yesterday and today together. It's been a good day. Just hung around the house, of course. Where else would we be? <laughs> but, yeah, still lots to think about, lots to think about. But thanks for hanging out with us today. And, yeah, we'll whip something up tomorrow for supper. I have a couple of little roast beefs. We might have that. But, yeah. I'm counting down the minutes till I get my new stove, so that'll be exciting. Exciting. I'll make sure I show you for sure. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, And I just want to say thank you to all my brothers and sisters out there that have been sending messages and um, praying for everybody and stuff. I really, uh, really appreciate it. So, all right, with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.